Hey, what's up, guys? It's <coughs> Shenlong here. Um, I'm gonna do another review today. Uh, this is gonna be on the Dark Horse RDA clone that I received from GearBest.com. Um, you know, I won a contest. You know, got second place in the contest, so I ended up getting it for free. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do a review on it and uh, tell you what I think about it. All right, guys, let's check it out. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a 22 millimeter RDA, you know, fits good on my PV Mini, fits good on my, um, well, the only me mechanical mod I have is a 26650. I mean, it fits on there, works fine, but it just looks kind of weird because it's a 26650 mech mod. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, as far as I can tell, this looks pretty identical to an authentic except there are a couple little other changes but uh yeah let's check it out so take the top cap off here you know you got your standard uh <coughs> three post design just like the original or just like the authentic uh it's copper gold plated or gold plated copper positive pin um you know I'm currently running a dual coil setup. It's uh, about 0.5 ohms. Works pretty good. Um, you can run this in either single, dual, or quad coil mode. I have ran it in quad coil. It, I was running this in quad coil, but um, I ended up having to trash it because the coils got just kept getting screwed up. So, uh, so I just went back to regular dual coils. Uh, but I mean, yeah, it works pretty good. I mean. Fire's great. Uh, see, let's take a look at a barrel. And sorry, sorry about the crappy camera work here, guys. I'm doing this one-handed because I don't have a tripod or anything like that. So yeah. Let's see. That's your wide bore. Your wide bore. Uh, Delrin drip tip. At least I'm assuming it's Delrin. Uh, airflow control ring. And then the outer barrel, which is covered with juice, but hey, yeah, it happens. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's the outer barrel, airflow control ring, monster wide bore, uh, Delrin drip tip. Um, this, <clears throat> sorry, this RDA does have an adjustable uh, 510 pen. Um, yeah, I want to say it's copper. I'm not exactly sure, but, um, you know, I mean, hey, it I've used it. It works. Makes a good connection with all my devices, so. And, um, you know, when you get this device, I'll show you the box of goodies that comes with it. See in here, your Addy will be sitting in this box. See in here, you got your, uh, standard, uh, 510 drip tip, which, uh, you know, I used it for about half a day when I first got it, and it's all right. I just, I prefer the whiteboard one, but that's just me. Okay, you get that, and of course you get this monster whiteboard drip tip that's already installed. Your airflow, airflow control ring, the outer barrel, you know, of course your, your RDA itself. Um, of course, you get a bag of goodies, you get, uh, some silica wick, you get two O-rings, which I had one in here, but, um, <clears throat> I had an extra bigger one in here that goes around the, the bottom of the deck, but I already had to replace it, so, yeah. And then, of course, you get some replacement screws, Phillips head screws, and you get your, uh, usual blue screwdriver. But, um, yeah, uh, a couple things I found that I didn't really, that I, uh, I'm having issues with with this thing is, um, the positive post right here. If you try to tighten down your connection, you know, to get a better connection on your coils, it will spin on you. And that gets on my nerves. Because that means I have to take, I have to take it off my device and pop out the, uh, pop out the 510 pin, or the, the positive pin on the bottom of the RDA and 
readjust the positive pin and it kind of gets annoying, it gets on my nerves. Um, another thing I noticed is <clears throat> I've only had this thing for a couple of days now and I already had to, had to replace this uh, top o-ring because for some reason when you put the outer barrel back on it tends to cut into that o-ring. I don't know why, uh, maybe because it's not recessed enough or this barrel isn't just, just isn't, this is maybe like a millimeter too small to go around this. So you, sometimes it'll just pop right back on there. Sometimes it'll just kind of snap, it, you know, you got to force it back on there and it tends to cut into that O-ring. But um, other than that, yeah, no, it, it works pretty good. I mean... <clears throat> You know, sorry guys like I said I'm uh, working with this you know one-handed so it's kind of a pain now, apparently I can't get the drip tip back on but um, yeah no it I mean, those those are the only issues I found with it so far. I mean, yeah, those are some people usually don't like it if don't want to get it if it uh you know if the positive pin spins or you know you have issues like that. And uh, another thing I've noticed is um this airflow control ring. Sometimes if I go to just unscrew this Addy from my device, the airflow control ring will spin, which will in turn loosen this up because this screws on separately and uh that kind of gets annoying too but you know that's just that's just in my honest opinion you know i mean it's just that's just what i think about it but uh i mean other than that it works great you know i mean i like it it is for what it is i mean i'm not i mean hey i got it for free so you know i mean hey i'm not really gonna complain that much but those are the only problems i've found with it so far but um hey yeah but yeah this is a uh, vape uh, this is shenlong vaping with shenlong and um you know, I'm going to put this up on my YouTube channel, put it up on the forum, and I'm going to put it up on my Facebook page. So, um, yeah, feel free to check it out, and I'll have more stuff coming for you later, guys. All right, let me have a talk before I get out of here. And, hey, you know what? I'd rather be vaping than smoking. Have a good one, guys.